Lesson 12.1a, Naming Points in the Coordinate Plane. A coordinate plane is formed by two number lines that intersect each other forming right angles. The x-axis is the horizontal number line and the y-axis is the vertical number line. And the two number lines are called the axes. A coordinate plane is a coordinate grid. So here we have the x-axis and here we have the y-axis and the plural of axis is axes. And the point where the axes intersect is called the origin. And the origin is 0 on the x. We can see here's negative 1 and here's positive 1. In between them is 0. And it's 0 on the y-axis. Here's positive 1, here's negative 1. It's in between. So the point where they meet is the origin. We can remember that the y-axis goes up vertically by thinking y to the sky. The two axes divide the coordinate plane into four quadrants, usually labeled with Roman numerals. We have quadrant 1, quadrant 2, quadrant 3, and quadrant 4. The quadrants are numbered counterclockwise. Do you notice that? And the upper right quadrant is 1. And it continues around like the letter C, as in coordinate. So you can remember which quadrant is which because it starts here and we make a letter C, as in coordinate, and it goes 1, 2, 3, 4, going around. An ordered pair is a pair of numbers that gives the location of a point on the coordinate plane. And the first number tells us how far to the right, which would be positive, or to the left, which would be negative, the point is located from the origin 0. So if it's a positive 5, it's going to be over here on the right side. And the second number tells us how far up, which would be positive, or down, which would be negative. The point is located from the origin 0. So here we have a positive 7. It's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 from the origin. We have x and y as our ordered pair and the ordered pair 5, 7 is where 5 on the x meets 7 on the y. They meet right there, so our point 5, 7 for x and y is right there. The numbers in an ordered pair are called coordinates. And the first number is the x coordinate, and the second number is the y coordinate. Coordinates describe a location that is in relation to the origin 0, 0. So to write the origin as a ordered pair, we would write 0 for x and 0 for y. And the points are labeled with a capital letter or with x and y values as an ordered pair. We could label this point as point A with a capital letter or we could label it as the ordered pair 3 for x and 2 for y. We need both coordinates to locate a point in a quadrant. If we only had one coordinate, we wouldn't be able to pinpoint an exact location. So take a look at this map. I hope you can see it. This is Central Avenue right here. So if someone said, meet me at Central Avenue, well, where? It could be anywhere on Central Avenue. We have no idea where. But if someone said, meet me at Central Avenue and Broadway Street, well, now we know. Here's Central Avenue, and here's Broadway. So we know they would want to meet us right here. We would know where on Central Avenue. The order pair would be Central Avenue and Broadway. That's where the streets intersect. That is an exact location. Quadrant 1 contains positive x and positive y coordinates. It's a positive, positive. Quadrant 2 contains negative x and positive y coordinates. Quadrant 3 contains negative x and negative y coordinates. And quadrant 4 contains positive x and negative y coordinates. 
Here it's telling us to identify the coordinates of each point and name the quadrant where each point is located. We have A. We need to find the x and y values for point A. Here's point A, and we can see on the x-axis, it's on a positive 2. And on the y-axis, when we look over to the y-axis, we see it's on a positive 1. And it's in this upper right corner, which would be the beginning of writing a letter C, wouldn't it? So it's in quadrant 1. For B, which is right here, we come from the origin and look, B is at negative 4 on the x. See that? So we're going to write a negative 4. And where is it on the y? It's right here. We look across to the y and see it's on a positive 2. And which quadrant is it in? Well, we make a C. 1, 2, 3, 4. So it's in quadrant 2. And for point C, which is right here, for X, we can see we come across to the left and we come down at negative 3. C is at negative 3 for X. And we look at where it is for Y. It's at negative 3 for Y. See that? And which quadrant is it in? One, two, three. It's in quadrant three. And for point D, which is over here, we look at where it's at for X. That's a positive three. And where is it for Y? Negative four. And which quadrant is it in? One, two, three, four. It's in the fourth quadrant. We write the x coordinate first, then the y coordinate. And we can remember that x is first in an ordered pair, just as x comes before y in the alphabet. x, y, just like the order of the alphabet. We finished the first part of the lesson. We're going to move on to the second part, graphing points in the coordinate plane. Have a nice day, and I hope you'll join me for the next part of the lesson. Bye.